This is CONCACAF Video Signals, a Thursday, March 26th edition. Today on Video Signals, we continue with the second installment of our daily previews of this weekend's World Cup qualifying action by taking a closer look at El Salvador and the USA. The second leg of first round play in the CFU Club Champions Cup started yesterday. We'll review the results. Let's take a trip around the Confederation and finish the program with everyone's favorite, the CONCACAF Quiz. We start with the final round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. Match day two is fast approaching with three vital games this Saturday. Trinidad and Tobago will host Honduras at the Hazley Crawford Stadium in Port of Spain, where the home side will train this evening, while Honduras will arrive in the Caribbean later this afternoon. Sven Joran Eriksson has his L3 working hard in preparation for the visit from Costa Rica at the Azteca. The Ticos defeated second division side Santos de Huapales 5-3 in a friendly on Tuesday. Today, we preview the El Salvador-USA encounter, which will be played at the Estadio Cuscatlan in San Salvador. El Salvador and the U.S. have met on six previous occasions in World Cup qualifying, with the Americans holding a 4-2-0 advantage. Their last WCQ meeting was on October 9, 2004 in San Salvador, a 2-0 win for the visitors on goals by Brian McBride and Eddie Johnson. El Salvador has only beaten the U.S. once in a match of any kind a 2-0 friendly win on February 19, 1992, in San Salvador. The Salvadorans have a 6-2-3 overall record in qualifying for South Africa 2010, scoring 32 goals while conceding 8. In their first match of the final round, they came back from a 2-goal deficit at home to tie Trinidad and Tobago 2-2. Osayel Romero had both goals. Los Cuscatlecos are 4-1-1 at home in 2010 WCQs. They have not won at the Cuscatlan since opening qualifying with four straight wins. Rudis Corales is their top scorer with seven goals. The USA has an 8-0-1 overall record in qualifying for South Africa, scoring 25 goals while allowing only three. They share first place in the final round with Costa Rica after a 2-0 win over Mexico at home on February 11th. The Stars and Stripes have three wins in four World Cup qualifying away matches, scoring exactly one goal in each game. The USA's three away wins were by the same 1-0 score. Their top World Cup qualifying scorers are Brian Ching, Clint Dempsey, and Michael Bradley, with four goals each. Tomorrow, Video Signals will preview the Mexico-Costa Rica match. Andre Toussaint and Matthew Bartholomew scored three goals each to lead W Connection of Trinidad to a 12-1 victory over center Bath Estate of Dominica yesterday and secure a place in the second round of the CFU Club Champions Cup, the Caribbean's qualifying competition for the 2009-2010 CONCACAF Champions League. Jonathan Frias scored twice in the first seven minutes for W Connection, which won the first leg in Dominica 5-0 and advanced on a 17-1 aggregate score. Carlson Benjamin had Bath Estate's lone goal in the 26th minute after the home side had already built a 3-0 lead. W Connection next plays the winner between S.A. Cavalli of Haiti and S.V. Britannia of Aruba. The Trinidadians were joined by Inter Moengo Tepo of Suriname, which despite a 1-0 loss at home to CSD Barber of the Netherlands Antilles, advanced to the second round on a 3-2 aggregate score. Valison Lake gave CSD Barber hope with a goal in the 14th minute and the Dutch Antilles club's prospects improved further with the 21st-minute ejection of Inter's Brian Damba. But it failed to generate another goal and was eliminated. Inter advances to play San Juan Jablota of Trinidad, which was seeded into the second round by virtue of reaching the semifinals the last time the tournament was held in 2007. In news from around the Confederation, the USA's under-17 national team lost 5-1 at Argentina yesterday. 15-year-old Charles Rankin scored the Americans' lone goal. The game was the second of the squad's three-game international tour, which saw the U.S. Open with a 2-1 win against Bolivia on Monday. The Stars and Stripes will round out the international-friendly segment of their trip on Friday against Uruguay. And that completes our brief trip around the Confederation. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. Yesterday, we asked if you could name the MLS team for which Trinidad forward Stern John scored an amazing 26 goals in 27 regular season games in 1998. Thanks to everyone who replied, John accomplished his goal feat for the Columbus crew. Today's question takes us to the U.S. national team. Can you name the player who has scored the most goals for the USA in the World Cup Finals? 
If you think you know the answer, please send an email to videosignals at concacaf.org before 12 p.m. New York time tomorrow. Those answering correctly will have their names placed into a weekly contest where the winner will receive a CONCACAF prize. Well, that's all for today. Please remember to check the CONCACAF website for all your World Cup qualifying information. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF news.